Welcome and thank you so much for being here today. My name is Caleb and I have something huge to announce or bring out today. And what is that? Is that? It's actually one of my favorite lightsabers. And that is Count Dooku's Black Series lightsaber. What we're gonna be doing today is a quick unboxing, going over the saber and show you a little bit of a better view and just basically what I think of it. And maybe even at the end, we'll do a little bit of dueling with it. Let's get this started. Start the one thing I really love about Count Dooku's lightsaber is the back of it, that the hilt, how it has that curvature. Uh, it's definitely one of the most unique sabers in Star Wars. And what I love about, you know, the villains in the sequel trilogy is the fact that we never know what we're gonna get, you know? Coming with Darth Maul, we got the really awesome double-bladed lightsaber. I don't know about you, I remember when I was a kid and I first saw that, I was geeking so hard. And then, Attack of the Clones, Dooku comes out with that saber and just messes up Obi-Wan and Anakin. I was, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe Anakin lost his hand. It was crazy, you know? And so, this has definitely been an item that has always been on my list and something that I've always wanted to get. So happy to be able to open this and do this with you guys. So, with all that being said, let's get started. <laughs> so. Man, I just feel like a little kid on Christmas. I'm so excited. Ah, oh, the moment of truth. Let's see what we got here. Nice. Okay, so it looks like the saber itself has to come assembled. No worries. I actually did a little bit of research before I purchased this. Just screwing on this back hilt right here is simply so it's a lot easier for this thing to ship and it's not as prone to get broken or damaged in the shipping process. We're gonna go ahead and put on the ending part of this and see what it looks like as a finished piece. As well, the one thing I really like about the Black Series lightsabers is they all actually come with a little stand. And this is really, really cool. It comes with little plastic couple pieces as well. You can see, I'll show you guys right here. So you literally just put these things in right here and it makes it so easy to have your Star Wars lightsaber on display, whether that be just like mine up here on the back. As you can see, I got Mace Windu's, uh, Darth Vader, and then at the top, I have Luke Skywalker. I don't think you can see that one. So this is a great addition to my collection. I'll put this down for a second and let's screw on this end part, okay? Every lightsaber needs a crystal, right? Well, the, <laughs> the Black Series actually uses a little battery pack that we got right here. So we're just gonna open this bad boy up, plug her in. Yeah, so it looks like this thing kind of goes right here. So I'll stick that in first and then I'll screw on the end piece. And like the crazy thing about this piece right here, surprisingly heavy, you know? It looks like it's made out of metal. You would honestly think there's a red button here. You would think that that would be the ignition for the lightsaber to uh, turn it on, but it actually just looks like the end piece. We're gonna see how to do that here in just a moment. Screwing it on. Ooh, man, I'm already feeling like a master duelist right now. We're not even all the way. Ooh, here you can see the saber itself. Pretty solid handle we got here, you know? As you can see, if I had, uh, was a creature or something in Star Wars, like Saboba, <laughs> I would be able to use a multiple hands. It would probably fit like three hands right here. But as we know, uh, Count Dooku in the movies and in the Clone Wars series, he is a masterful duelist. So he uses just that single hand and he's like a striker right here, you know? And uh, really, really offensive style of fighting that he learned when he was uh, Yoda's Padmorn. So um, let's see how to actually light this thing up and get it started. You would think it would be like this button back here, but that would be kind of awkward. You'd, like you're like having to reach back to start up the saber each time. Oh, so it's just this button right here, but it seems like Hasbro is doing us dirty with this Black Series, you know what I mean? Like They're like, hey, we'll give you the saber, but you gotta buy your own batteries. <laughs> so we might have to take it real quick stop here to basically get these batteries in here so we can light this bad boy up, okay? So just give me a second, okay? Now, back to our regular scheduled program. We found some batteries, it took a second, I'm not gonna lie. It just being, it has a really small little like screw drive thing, whatever you wanna call it, I'm forgetting to, <laughs> to put it in there. So it just took us a couple minutes, but we are here and we are ready to light this bad boy up. Holding the whole thing in my hand, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a fierce Lord of the Sith. <laughs> and uh, it's really awesome. And, and one thing I really love about this lightsaber compared to some of the others I have above is it's really easy to just press this button with this single hand 
and it looks elegant and smooth compared to some of them you have to like double it up and like press it, you know, and it just doesn't look as natural like you're really turning on a saber. So with all that being say said, <laughs> let's actually turn this bad boy on and see what it looks like. Ooh. Nice, this thing is clean. Now you gotta remember we do have a little bit of natural daylight in, so it drowns out the color just a little bit. This thing in a little bit of a darker environment is gonna look insane. Really takes me back to that fight scene in Genosis and Attack of the Clones when we first see Dooku in action, you know? Um, and, and saying I really just loved when he brought out that saber right after he had that moment with Yoda and you know they really get after it you know and to kind of clarify back on what i had mentioned earlier he learned a lot of his defensive um lightsaber skills from master yoda when he was his apprentice and then his offensive and the reason uh, attacks was actually from chancellor palpatine so that's why he was such a skilled warrior with the lightsaber and he was able to take obi-wan out pretty quick because we all know obi-wan is the defensive king of them all but let's get back on this lightsaber. Let's just take a little look at it. Uh, great fill in the hand. I will say the, the only like downfall with holding this one is this handle here, the first part before we screwed in, is relatively light. And this end part that you have to screw in, it seems like it's almost all metal. And so it, it gives a little bit of an off balance and, and it makes the lightsaber a lot heavier, but you still have the ability to get some solid swings in and I really like how it, it really like forces you to do the one-handed style that uh, Count Dooku uses in the movies and the, the Clone Wars series. It is obvious this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the Force, but our skills with the lace. <laughs> and the one thing I really loved about Count Dooku was he had the coolest fighting style. I think we can all admit that. He was just like so ready and he had his left hand behind his back and he did a very offensive striking pattern. So he would come low, and then he would stay high, strike through, 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 and just, I love that, that elegance. Never really did a whole lot of two-handed, never really saw that in the Clone Wars, and definitely not in any of the actual Star Wars movies. So, you know, pretty awesome in here, but let's see what this bad boy looks like outside the garage. I've been looking forward to this. After going through, opening it, assembling it, and getting to play with it a little bit myself, it's time to do a little rating system for it. So, out of 10, I'm gonna have to give this one an 8.5. Now, the reason I didn't give it a full 10 is it's just a little bulky. It's just a little heavy. Uh, if you ever get one for yourself, you'll understand why it's really hard to do what Dooku does in the movies and single-handedly fight with this thing. Um, but the design, the look of it, is exactly what I would envision his saber to fill and look like in real life. So it, it is definitely something I would highly recommend to any uh, real Star Wars fan, especially if you're a big fan of the prequels. The one thing I really like about this is the price range. I remember uh, back when Master Replicas was creating the Force FX lightsabers, you couldn't find a Count Dooku lightsaber for less than $250, so I never had the opportunity to purchase one. The great thing about the Black Series is it's a lot more affordable, and you can actually snag one of these bad boys for 180 bucks. So for the price, a still a bargain, and I highly recommend you getting one for yourself. Here we are at the end of the line. Thank you for going the distance with me. I'm very appreciative for you for viewing this video and for staying here to the end. You know, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, liking and commenting and sharing this video with any of your friends that also are interested in Star Wars and lightsabers, uh, it would really mean the world to me. Thank you guys for viewing and I'll see you next time. May the force be with you.